Okay, in this video, I just wanted to do uh, a symmetric matrix um, just to uh, highlight a couple things. So if we have a, uh, a symmetric matrix, uh, so notice, you know, this minus 37, minus 37 there, 47, 47. So I just took the matrix from the pre previous video and edited these three values here to make it uh, symmetric. And so in that way, it's still just a random matrix. And I do the eigen matrix, matrix right, and I print that out, and I print out P, so the D and the P just as before. Um, and then I show that, you know, if we multiply um, P times D times P inverse, uh, we get B back. Uh, but uh, I also wanted to show, though, that if we use, instead of the uh, whatever they give us for those um, eigenvectors, if we make them eigenvectors that are uh, unit vectors. So in other words, we, we take the eigenvector and divide it by its magnitude, its norm. And... Uh, and we use that for our uh, matrix instead, um, we'll, we'll use a transpose here as the inverse. The inverse and the transpose are, turn out to be the same thing. So this is how I did I took P, and I wanted to multiply the first column by 1 over the first column's norm. Well, so that's what this is. Right there's the norm part. Um, here's the first column, column zero. So p dot matrix from columns get the first column. I take its norm, and then I take that uh, reciprocal of that thing, and I just put it into a diagonal matrix, a three by three diagonal matrix where um, this is the one one element or zero zero element if we're counting as, as Sage does. Um, and then I do the same thing with uh, the second column and the third column and just put those down the diagonal because then when I effectively, when I multiply P by this matrix, uh, the first column of P gets divided by its norm. The second column of P gets divided by its norm and the third column of P gets divided by its norm. So. That's how I made uh, this matrix Q, and uh, so uh, Q times Q transpose, uh, well, Q times D times Q transpose there. Uh, I do that and show that uh, the transpose serves as that inverse in this case, and so if we hit evaluate, and we come down here, then again, you know, there are our eigenvalues. Notice they're all real. Our eigenvectors, they're all real. Uh, and no as long as I have a symmetric uh, matrix here, that's going to happen. So that's a, a pretty neat result, a uh, theoretical result that says, yeah, those are always going to be real. And so um, I get these real uh, eigenvalues, I get my real eigenvectors, uh, and I did the, the inverse thing for this matrix P, but then I took this matrix P and I divided each column by its norm to get uh, unit vectors uh, in here for each column, and then I did the transpose in place of the inverse, and I still get the answer. Okay, so that's uh, with symmetric matrices, um, that's a, just a, a nifty um, uh, theoretical result is that I can diagonalize uh, this uh, symmetric matrix and, you know, if the eigenvalues are, are right and all that. And uh, when I do, I get, um, uh, I get real eigenvalues, real eigenvectors, but I can diagonalize it uh, in a very special way where the matrix Q, I could call it P, um, because it's just a matter of which eigenvector I want, um, you know, what multiple of it, uh, 
but I, I can write it with this matrix uh, here, Q, uh, as uh, what we call an orthogonal matrix, and that is that Q times Q transpose is the identity. And just to uh, point that out, um, I guess I can try just putting at the end of here, so I'll copy that and paste it. And here, I'm just going to try uh, doing um, Q times Q transpose here. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, and often, actually, it works one direction a little better than the other numerically. So let's see how we do. And it worked quite well, right? So we get 1, 1, 1, uh, 10 to the negative 17th, 10 to the negative 16th. So these are all zeros. So there is our identity. And, you know, real quickly, we can, uh, well, we'll just copy that whole thing. So we'll do it both directions here. And so we'll do that and times uh, Q. And let's see how that one looks. Uh, see, a little bit different in technically speaking. Uh, this one worked a little better in that uh, where they're all 10 to the negative 17th, those, uh, the coefficient is a little bit smaller, and then where they were 10 to the negative 16th, uh, now they're 10 to the negative 17th. So they're that, that much closer to zero. So you see, numerically it worked just a little better uh, with the Q transpose Q than it did with the Q Q transpose. But those are uh, things that happen with numerical concerns. So. Um, so there we go. There's a symmetric matrix and some of the, um, uh, you know, pointing out some of these properties of it.